Hi, this is Stuart Chaffetz for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness. As part of Shark's efforts to expose corruption associated with Senator Jim Inhofe's 2014 Cruel Live Pigeon Shoot political fundraiser, we've shown how the senator illegally held the event on federal land and how he illegally used federally funded government employees as workers to serve his donors. Because of what we documented, in 2015, Inhofe was kicked off the federal land and the Oklahoma wardens, who had worked at a number of his previous shoots, were nowhere to be found. In this video, we expose another group that we have discovered have been serving as workers at Inhofe's fundraisers. These are students from the Oklahoma State University Shotgun Sports Club. See the orange trailer in this video, taken by Shark's Angel Aircraft at the 2015 Pigeon Shoot? It belongs to the OSU Shotgun Club. Here's a close-up picture of the trailer from the 2014 shoot. The OSU logo is in the center, surrounded by two logos for the Safari Club International and for the Oklahoma branch of Safari Club. As you can see in this picture from the OSU Shotgun Club Facebook page, Safari Club International donated the orange trailer to the club. Safari Club International is a trophy hunt club whose members slaughter animals from around the world. In a recent report from the Humane Society of the United States, using Safari Club's own records, it was shown that they have killed tens of thousands of animals, including lions, elephants, leopards, and black rhinos. Remember Walter Palmer, the hunter who killed Cecil the lion? He was a Safari Club member. That's the type of cruelty Safari Club commits. Safari Club is also a donor to Senator Inhofe, and in 2014 alone, they gave him $3,000. When Shark realized that Oklahoma game wardens were working at Senator Inhofe's political fundraiser, we submitted a public records request to the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation. This request turned up a great deal of important information including a mention about the OSU Shotgun Club. In regards to Senator Inhofe's dove hunt, which is what he calls the political fundraiser, it states that, quote, From what I have been told, there are three things going on at the same time. One European-style live pigeon shoot, OSU shooting sports, and STEP. STEP, by the way, is the federally funded program that funds the wardens who worked at Inhofe's event or I should say, used to work at Inhofe's event. The email refers to the 2011 Inhofe fundraiser, so that means OSU has been providing student workers to work for Inhofe for at least five years, probably longer. It's amazing that no one questioned the ethics of using college students as workers for a political fundraiser, or how much of a choice they really had whether to do it or not, because to say no would mean going against the desires of a sitting U.S. Senator. Inhofe should never have used these kids or put them in that position, but what else should we expect from a man whose moral compass is so broken that it only points in the direction of his campaign account? Now let's put all the pieces together. Safari Club International financially supports and donates to Senator Inhofe's election campaign. Safari Club International gave the Oklahoma State University Shotgun Club a trailer. Oklahoma State University Shotgun Club then uses their students and that trailer as workers for Senator Inhofe's political fundraiser. This is not the only connection we found between Oklahoma State University and Senator Inhofe's fundraiser. At both the 2014 and 2015 Inhofe pigeon shoots, a cannon was fired into a nearby mountain range. That cannon has the OSU logo on it, and the person who brought the cannon to the event in 2015 had this sticker on their truck. And that means they were a donor to OSU. We've seen Senator Inhofe use federal land and government employees for his political fundraiser, and now we know that he has used students from a state university as well. Inhofe claims to be a fiscal conservative, 
But that only applies when it comes to money spent for other people. When it comes to filling his campaign coffers, Senator Inhofe is the biggest welfare queen there is.